designers. This is part two of assignment three. This is the clipping mask portion. I like to make these videos separate so that you don't confuse layer masks with clipping masks. Clipping masks are um, actually a lot easier to use, but they're only for a specific purpose. You've got to think about creating a frame that you want to be able to move around an image behind it to get it just right. So we're going to start off in this little project by typing your name or any word in a pretty thick, chunky font. Um, I've got mine here, and then you're going to add an image of your choice, any image. I've got a bright scene of a colorful building. Then all you need to do is remember layer order is the most important thing in creating a clipping mask. You want to have your image on top of your text or file that you're going to clip your clipping mask to. Then all you do is right click and hit create clipping mask. It automatically clips it to the text in the layer below or the shape. You can tell that it's a clipping mask because of this tiny little arrow that points down to the layer it's clipped to. Now I can grab V for my move tool and move the image around until I find a bright colorful pattern that I like. I really like how some of this lines up through um, the text and make some interesting patterns. But if I think to myself, man, I'd really like to add a color block, I'm just going to make a new layer, grab a rectangle tool like so, pick a bright color, and then create a shape. Now obviously this shape is on top, so what do we need to do? Right click and create a clipping mask to clip it to the text layer. I'll hit V and I can move it around until I like the way it looks. If maybe I think it needs to be at a bit of an angle or be a little bit thicker. I can move those around until they create a pleasing pattern. Hit enter and we can see with this little triangle that it has clipped to the text file. At any point you can unclip it by releasing the clipping mask and all of your images and text files remain intact and undamaged. Again, what we want to do is start with a text layer of sort or a shape and then bring in an image on top of it to clip to the mask. You can add additional shapes, images, or textures, or blending modes. Ooh, let's do a blending mode. Let's do that in, oh, I'm on this layer. Let's blend this one with multiply, and then clip it. And now we can still see the color, but it's in a different blending mode. Blending modes work even as they are clipping mask. That one looks great. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, make sure you watch Clipping Masks again. Thanks!